Hello, good afternoon and welcome one and all to this webinar on sexual harassment at the workplace, work from home scenario. Today, Samvati is collaborating with Vidhi Varenium Foundation to bring this session to you. Vidhi Varenium Foundation is a non-profit organization founded by Ms. Pragya Pradijat Singh with an aim to spread legal awareness in the society. Till date, it has conducted various online and offline sessions on different areas of law. Samvati is a social legal venture crafted by the students of Gujarat National Law University. It is a platform to encourage the expression of opinions on and analysis of pertinent social legal issues. It undertakes various exercises to serve the society in the best possible manner and has successfully conducted several virtual and physical legal literacy sessions and funding campaigns in the, first, in the past. Our speaker for today, Ms. Pallavi Pratap, is an advocate on record in the Supreme Court and has around 12 years of experience in law practice. She is qualified with an MBA in finance from Latro University, Melbourne, and with her LLB from Lucknow University. She has been included in the Business World BW Legal's 40 Under 40 Top Lawyers and Legal Influencers list. Our moderator today, Ms. Pragya, is currently an assistant professor at Jindal Global Law School. She did her LLB from Campus Law Center and LLM from the University of Cambridge. She has been proactively involved in right-based litigation. She has been a legal counselor at Tihar Jail De Delhi, a panel member of the India Union of India panel, and also a founding member at the Unomia Law Associates LLP. With that brief introduction, I would like to request Pragya Ma'am to take the session forward. Thank you. Thank you so much, Alalika, for that uh, introduction, generous introduction, rather, I would say. Uh, hi, Pallavi Ma'am, you can unmute yourself. You have to stop calling me ma'am. <laughs> please, this is where you should stop calling okay, me Okay, everyone, please welcome so, Pallavi ji. Pallavi. Uh, I, would, I would take some time. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But um, yeah, I think it's always difficult for women to uh, address anybody, be it a woman or a man, without those, you know, sir or G I don't know, coming I into it's play. It becomes a little bit. Probably that yes, we're yes. used to calling this. And all the more, Delhi University has taught up, uh, taught us this, you know, sir and ma'am culture, which seems to be not going this soon. But going I will try every time. No. Okay, hello guys. Uh, not making it too formal because uh, we do that in our regular classes. Uh, the entire endeavor is to introduce you all to this very important topic. And uh, without going into the trivia of what happened recently. Uh, we all have access to LinkedIn and we saw a couple of uh, uh, female uh, interns complaining about case of sexual harassment and that made us, that rather prompted us to uh, talk about this particular topic, uh, this act which was passed in the year 2013. For everyone's convenience, we would be uh, speaking in both the languages, English rather, because I think... Uh, so please feel free in your skin if you have questions in English, Hindi, uh, we are uh, ready to answer that. Uh, I'll just give you a brief preface. Sexual harassment at workplace. I'm sure this uh, act, the Posh Act, it came in 2013. And it's a story behind it. Gaon tha Rajasthan mein, jahan pe there was a social activist, Miss, uh, uh, Mrs. Bhangri Devi, who uh, belonged to and she was working with uh, the Rajasthan government, ke saath, wo ek karti, worker thi, aur wo wahan pe kaam kar thi, ki child marriages na karwai jai, wahan pe child marriages bohat rampant thi, and uh, she was working with the state government, so that wahan pe ye sari cheeze na ho, ek purani, Kuprathati, it was a evil and it was not seen as something good. So she was working very actively. And in fact, she was raped uh, by people from higher caste. And uh, there was a lot of broa over this. And rather, she went to the police station. The police humiliated her. She didn't get justice. So it was a very sad case. And it was internationally reported. 
uh, all in all, when we talk about it, the best thing that uh, came out of all this, all of this, was uh, acknowledging that something of this sort is quite rampant. And uh, in the preface of this case, uh, this uh, Bhavri case, we had uh, certain guidelines that were given to us in the case of Vishakha versus State of Rajasthan, which eventually culminated into uh, formation of the POSH Act, that is prevention of uh, sexual harassment at the workplace. Yani ki jo aapki kaam ki jagah hai, wahan pe sexual harassment nahi ho aapke saath, iske liye sarkar ne kuch guidelines banai. और ये जो गाइडलाइंस है और ये जो शब्द है सेक्सुअल हरासमेंट ये अगर आप कॉमन पार्लेंस में सुनेंगे तो आपके दिमाग में यही स्ट्राइक करेगा कि लोग किसी को छूते हैं तो वो सेक्सुअल हरासमेंट है बट सेक्सुअल हरासमेंट का मतलब सिर्फ फिजिकल ही नहीं होता इसके बहुत सारे कंपोनेंट्स हैं व्हिच वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट इन दिस पर्टिकुलर वेबिनार सो विदाउट वेस्टिंग फर्दर टाइम आज मैं जो है कुछ क्वेश्चंस पूछूंगी कुछ इंग्लिश में होंगे कुछ हिंदी से हिंदी में होंगे सो टू बिगिन विद we are going to stick around to the topic so meri request aap log se ye hai ki koi bhi sawal jo aap puchte hain koshish kariye ki wo mudde ke ird gird ho okay so hi pallavi ma'am thank you so much for hi pallavi how are you <laughs> thank you for joining us here uh, on behalf of vidhi varinyam and uh, team samvidhi i extend my very warm welcome and aap uh, kisi introduction ki mohtaj nahi hai and you've been a great friend a great uh, source of inspiration and a, a colleague who's done uh, impeccable work in supreme court so thank you uh, please tell these people most of us are law students a lot of them are already interning and i'm happy that uh, okay. men have also turned up and this videos are uh, these videos are recorded so eventually they'll be going on youtube so a lot of people will be further watching it so i'm sure that this is going to benefit a lot of us who go for either internship or would be joining some office so if they have idea uh, about this act uh, i don't think so they'll ever get into the vicious cycle of exploitation so to begin with my first question to you is the ill preparedness with the new normal makes us say that the situation has worsened and the cases of virtual harassment have spiked up what are the biggest challenges in the implementation of the act in this new scenario and how to counter it? So Pragya, thank you so much for having me here. Um, I'm really excited also to see a lot of young uh, law students. I think we, we, when we are law students, we are in that place where we are standing, where our voices start to take our own life. And when we see this kind of incidents on LinkedIn, where we have some sort of We, when we are interning so basically that is a point where we feel that we will be safe and that such exploitation or such remarks or such emojis will not be sent to us more importantly but uh, um ye cheeze bahut rampant hain aur ye uh, it is not just law students but life mein sabke sath kisi na kisi mode pe ye cheeze zarur hoti hain uh, hum logon ne uh, chahe uh, इस स्टेज पे या आगे की स्टेज पे हमने कहीं ना कहीं ये चीजें खुद महसूस की हुई होंगी चाहे वो एक छोटा सा इंसिडेंट हो मोलेस्टेशन का जो कि आप बस में जा रहे हैं किसी ने आपको ग्रुप कर लिया या आपको यू नो आप एक भीड़ भाड़ वाली जगह में हैं और वहां पे किसी ने ग्रुप किया दीज थिंग्स हैपन टू वेमेन इट्स इट्स नॉट समथिंग विच इज अनहर्ड ऑफ ये सब चीजें होती हैं बहुत सारी जगहों पे जहाँ पे ट्रस्ट इन्वॉल्व होता है स्पेशली फॉर वेमेन आई फील वेन दे आर ट्रस्टिंग तो कई जगह हम देखते हैं कि दैट ट्रस्ट इज गेटिंग यू नो एक्सप्लोइटेड ऑल्सो एंड दिस इज वेर वी फील दैट यू नो समबडी हु इज इन अ पोजिशन ऑफ पावर इज एक्सप्लोइटिंग अस इन दैट सेंस वाई इज इट दैट इट हैज बिकम वेरी डिफिकल्ट फॉर पीपल टू इम्प्लीमेंट पॉश एक्ट especially now in the given circumstances is pandemic ki jo sthiti is waqt hai uh, usme mujhe lagta hai pichle 1.5 saal se lagbhag um, hum sab log work from home uh, maximum number of time kar rahe hain chahe wo law students ho uh, agar aapne dekha hoga maximum unki classes bhi uh, online chal rahi hain hum logon ki jo uh, uh, जो काम चल रहा है चाहे वो वर्चुअल कोर्ट हो चाहे वो टीम्स हो या हम लोग की जो मीटिंग्स होती हैं कॉन्फ्रेंसेस होते हैं सीनियर्स के साथ या क्लाइंट्स के साथ मीटिंग होती है वो सब कुछ एक वर्चुअल फॉर्म में जा चुका है 
और इन सब जगहों पे हम ये देख रहे हैं ना देर आर इंसिडेंट्स ऑफ सेक्शुअल हरासमेंट व्हिच इज टेकिंग प्लेस आल्सो बिकॉज दिस इज बिकम रैंपेंट नाउ सिंस अ लॉट ऑफ पीपल हैव दिस थॉट दैट बिकॉज दिस इज नॉट अ वर्क एनवायरनमेंट सो देयरफॉर दिस इज दैट चलता है एटीट्यूड कि हां uh, कुछ भी कर लेंगे बिकॉज इट इज नॉट अ वर्क एनवायरनमेंट देयरफॉर आई विल नॉट बी you know um, uh, considered as a uh, as someone who's a perpetrator of such um, uh, act but that is not correct as a matter of fact if we look at the act itself especially when we look at section 2o of the of the posh act we see that it um, defines workplace as any place visited by the employee arising out of or during the course of employment इसका मतलब है कि कोई भी इम्प्लॉय जो कि एक जगह को विजिट करता है जिस जगह को विजिट करना उसके इम्प्लॉयमेंट में से निकल के आता है एंड एडिशनली इट आल्सो इंक्लूड्स अ डवेलिंग प्लेस और अ हाउस व्हाई दिस इज इम्पोर्टेंट इज बिकॉज अर्लियर देर वाज आल्सो वी हैड seen that you know were the house helps that we had inside the house so for instance if you've got a female servant if you go, if you've got a maid will she be uh, you know covered under the posh act or not the answer to it is yes because for her the place of employment happens to be the house of a person where she is going and uh, working so therefore um, if you look at it broadly all of this gets covered your house or if i am working from my house as a result of the employment I, this entire setup will be considered as a workplace and so um, let's say for instance aajkal zoom calls ka zamana hai ya google meet hai it's it's a lot of virtual interaction which takes place now what do you do when there is a lot of virtual interaction and how is it that the harassment comes in the harassment comes in when we see that you know somebody has made a sexist remark somebody has um, you know um, let's say um, while someone is screen sharing uh, you know screen shares something which is nasty as a matter of fact there have been incidents where um, if let's say on the background uh, there is some kind of a uh, you know a poster or a screen saver which has pornographic uh, contents then that will also come under sexual harassment so it is a very huge very big definition a lot of smaller activities are also getting um, you know imbibed into the entire concept of sexual harassment just now so agar main um, galti se aapka present now mein koi galat cheez dikhane lagte hu so then um, you know that is basically obscenity i can be convicted as far as um, you know the ipc provisions are concerned and also posh provisions are concerned now uh, what is also important is for us to understand that there is a lot of overt sexual connotation the whole um, you know the whole linkedin fiasco that happened was primarily this we all know what an emoji looks like what is the purpose of a specific emoji and what is the meaning of a specific emoji so if there is an emoji which was being used in this whole linkedin fiasco we all know who and why and at what stage that particular emoji is used it is not that anybody who comes who is a lawyer who is an advocate who's been practicing for such a long time he cannot tomorrow come and say ki mujhe to pata hi nahi tha ki is emoji ka kya matlab hota hai it is it is not that you know a person can claim to be naive about it so when you know that you are sending something which is wrong which is you know where you are crossing a certain boundary then in that event that becomes you know having something which is of sexual connotation and therefore can amount to sexual harassment now why it has become very difficult to implement it just now as far as pandemic is concerned is primarily because there are these committees which are to be formed the posh uh, act is very specific about so many things there has to be an investigation uh, there has to be you know uh, uh, a specific committee which needs to be formed aur agar aap dekhenge jitni bhi ye law firms hain choti law firms hain jo badi law firms hain usme aap dekhenge ki kitni as per the icc the, the the mandate iccs are have been formed but the smaller law firms which ideally should have um 
you know, uh, there's some question which has just popped in. We will take the question at the end of the session. Um, the idea is that when we are looking at, um, you know, the, the, the specific posh act per se, and when we are looking at how um, the, the entire perspective is changing, uh, the smaller law firms, because even if by law they are mandated to have um, uh, a s internal uh, committee, they are not complying to it because these are all mom and pop law firms, um, smaller law firms. So, in ke mein shayad utna compliance ho nahi pata. Also, because law firms may typically jo advocates ya interns ya uh, employees jo kam kar rahe hote, they are mostly on a retainer basis. So, you don't really qualify in in the in the uh, you know the legal sense to be. Uh, uh, complying with what the Posh Act provides you. So I think as far as law firms are concerned, it is a problem. If you look at chambers um, uh, of certain lawyers and who've been named in this, uh, it is difficult for anybody to, you know, um, bring about that kind of um, compliance in this. So I think essentially the problem lies with the definition itself and therefore the application of Posh as far as smaller law firms are concerned. But if you look at it, smaller companies. So for instance, if you've heard about TIE, TIE is, uh, is an entrepreneurial group and you have a lot of startups which work on, uh, uh, you know, which are part of TIE. So there uh, you would notice that a lot of emphasis is provided on why Porsche compliance is very important for even smaller organizations which have 15 employees or so. And that becomes important because you have these compliances which you have to do. Larger companies are doing it. But the problem that is arising just now is from these smaller mom and pop uh, companies where, you know, a lot of them are fly by night operators and therefore they just vanish. Um, but there is a lot of problems that they have anyway uh, created in their past. So I think, uh, Pragya, to answer your question there, um, my understanding is that the implementation is difficult primarily because the Porsche Act. Uh, if a lot of people feel that it is only relevant um, to, you know, a, a private limited firm or a proprietorship firm or, uh, you know, companies which are working and not so much to the law firm because of how, how we structure our law firms as a result of retainership model uh, working in it. But having said that, uh, the application as far as work from home environment is concerned, it is it is completely applied Primarily, like I said, that if there is a maid who's working in, in, in my house and she tomorrow alleges uh, about sexual harassment, then that will be taken care of under the Porsche Act because my house happens to be her workplace. Thank you so much. So I'm sure uh, all the attendees must now have understood that something which might not sound very um, um, unusual to us, usual, uh, unusual to us, even a maid that is working at our home uh, can take help of this particular act in case if there's a case of sexual harassment. She is working in our house, it's workplace. Hai. So it's not necessary that ICC ki committee needs to be an ICC committee, this needs to be an ICC Directly, the court can go and seek justice from the court because the work they are working there, it's workplace and this will apply to this act very well. Apply hoga. So this is the beauty of this particular act. It is very stringent hai is Samvedan Shil Mudde ko leke. So thank you so much for telling us what the implementations of this ma'am is the challenges kya kya associated hai. Moving on to the se uh, second question. What all constitutes sexual harassment in virtual reality? Would constant insisting on video calls with camera on post office hours constitute an offense under the act? Have you recently received a complaint by any chance, especially during the pan pandemic uh, of this sort? How did you go about it? Very practical sawal. I am asking you. Those who don't know what is exactly what is sexual harassment is in virtual reality. Mein. Ye, aap ko pata hona ki hum reality. We are talking about virtual reality. Baat kar rahi hai. Mostly, like webinars, ho rahe hai, seminars. We are all sitting at home, but we are doing work from home. Kar rahe hai. So, what do you want to say about this? See, I remember... Um... Pragya, पिछले साल ना जब ये webinars का अचानक से बहुत सारा influx हुआ था, uh, so there was one webinar which was being conducted, and I remember that 
मेरे को याद नहीं है प्रज्ञा वॉज इट योर वेबिनार ओनली और समन एल्स इज वेबिनार वेर यू नो देर वॉज सम बडी हु हैड कम्स एट एंड एंड डन सम ऑब्सीन थिंग इट वाज नॉट योर वेब ओ यू वाज ऑन योर वेबिनार ओनली आई रिमेंबर यस योर वेबिनार ओनली आई रिमेंबर एंड एंड यू आई रिमेंबर दैट यू हैड वॉइस्ड रियली वॉइस वॉज इट टू दिसली एंड इट हैड बीन पिक्ड अप बाय अ लॉट ऑफ पीपल दैट दिस वाज जस्ट नॉट रिक्वायर्ड आई मीन इवन इफ वी हैव आवर एडमिन्स हु आर इन प्लेस वी कांट रियली गो अहेड एंड स्टॉप समथिंग लाइक दैट uh and that how does it so ab kya hone laga of course hum koshish karte hain ki sab participants ki screen off kar de unko mute kar de but isn't there a self control that people should have who are participants correct that is one or is that the only way of expressing yourself i mean i'll be surprised that that is the only way that you find but that was i think hacking which had happened from some other server if i'm yes, not mistaken server... as far as i'm not some other um, some was there they were literally dick pictures all over the webinar and it was so that see um, i can leave but i kept saying that this is disgusting and you are not supposed to do, do this but this definitely correct. constitutes uh, of this offense correct yes as a matter of fact uh, this happens a lot so what is happening is uh, it, it, it we would not obviously see it so much but if you would remember that shilpa wala video also which was that there was the student whose uh, something had come there were other uh, videos also which were being circulated these videos how is it that you were getting these videos because maybe somebody was being uh, uh, you know not so um, uh, they were just being cringy about all of this whole thing and they are recording and then they are circulating it without the consent of a person it could be because of x y z reasons we've seen so many of these zoom videos being circulating across ki uh, somebody is doing webinar wearing something and you know x y z reasons some of it is for law i am going to laugh about it somebody else is going to laugh about it because it is laugh worthy my i mean it it and it is after obtaining consent from someone and that is circulating but a lot of it is absolutely without any consent and you're just trying to mock a person and that is one cyber bullying two bullying completely in terms of not just cy- in the cyber space but otherwise also you're just letting somebody's uh, private space just open up third i think uh, any of these do not actually come under the guidelines which are provided under the it act as well a lot of these are actually against the it act um, specific rules have been framed or up to with the pandemic kafi sara amendment is wajah se bhi hoga aur ya ho raha hai jo ki dikha raha hai ki uh, you know we are so vulnerable just now that all that vulnerability needs to go away now coming to that specific question that you asked me i feel that um, when we look at all of this uh, which is happening some of the examples are i don't need to or anybody doesn't need to turn on their video all the time i mean i understand if it is a class and the, the professor or the teacher wants to see if the students are really present and they are putting in the effort or not then it makes sense that you are supposed to be you know dressed up in your uniform or dressed up in your formals and then attend a class and therefore you are required to uh, switch on your camera but if there is an xyz time like for instance somebody sends a message at 10 o'clock saying please come for a zoom meeting uh, so that uh, uh, you know we can uh, I've, we just received a message asking to speak in hindi so i will also speak in hindi in a little bit uh, but when you receive a message that no 10 o'clock there is a conference there is a matter which is coming up tomorrow morning and you have to be uh, joining in and you keep your video on it is uh, completely unnecessary and it is violation of my own right the idea is that i have the right to switch off my video if i have to contribute it is not necessary that my video is switched on that is one secondly jab hum court mein agar hum argue kar rahe hote honge to pragya aapne shayad notice bhi kiya hoga ki aksar 99% of the times agar kisi senior advocate ka video nahi bhi chal raha hoga jaise justice dinesh maheshwari ke samne kal कामनी जसवाल मैम आर्ग्यू कर रही थी उनका वीडियो नहीं चल रहा था अब उनकी आवाज से मैं और आप और जज साहब भी पहचान रहे होंगे कि ये कामनी जसवाल मैम ही है उनकी आवाज क्या हम सभी लोग पहचानते काफी अलग से आवाज आती है उनकी 
लेकिन जब वो क्योंकि वीडियो नहीं चल रहा था तो जज साहब हर वक्त बोल रहे थे कि मैम जब तक हमें आपकी शक्ल नहीं दिखाई देगी तब तक हम इसको लेके नहीं जा सकते तो या तो मैं इसको एडजॉइन कर सकता हूँ या मैं इसको पास ओवर कर सकता हूँ आप इसको ठीक कर लीजिए दिस इज दिस इज इम्पोर्टेंट वाई बिकॉज दिस इज अ वर्क प्लेस गाइडलाइन वी नीड टू पुट द फेस टू द नेम एंड टू द वॉइस एज टू हु इज अपियरिंग एंड हुज मेकिंग अ सबमिशन बट देन let's assume that there is a class which is happening so then we the professor or let's say let's not even take that example let's see there is a law firm there is a conference which needs to take place tomorrow morning and there is suddenly a matter that gets listed you are supposed to do the conference at 9 o'clock because the supplementary list has come at 8 o'clock and you are just finding out which senior to take and then how you are going to fix everything up and the 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 uh, conference happens at 9 o'clock and then somebody is saying no you have to switch on your video that would probably be pushing the boundaries too much because it is not important that you have to have a face and a name associated with it at that point in time your voice is also in, is enough uh, the fact that you can present now and show an impugned order or a specific uh, file or a specific judgment is also sufficient and we see that you know unnecessary um, poking does not really happen as far as our environment is concerned but if someone is crossing that boundary and saying nahi bhai tumhari shakal to dekhni hai raat mein 10 baje tumne kaam kar tum kaam kar rahi ho ki nahi kar rahi ho all that nonsense then that is where you can always go ahead and say no you i am not required to switch on my camera as long as i am able to give um, or you know my productivity is not affected it's not important that you have to see my face that is one way of doing things second a lot of times we see that you know uh, ye zoom meetings chal rahi hoti hain aur side mein ek chat chal raha hota hai wo chat box mein kuch log faltu ki cheeze likh rahe hote hain wo jo faltu ki cheeze hoti hain by the way that if it has sexual connotation you will be booked for uh, booked under posh so um, or you know if you're making uh, jokes about um, certain people which is sexually colored you will definitely be booked for posh so it is not that you feel that ye zoom ka chat to work environment hua nahi aur main isme kuch bhi share kar sakta hu that's not really uh, how it works this is complete work space just now and that you know anything which is obscene which is going there can uh, you be used against you the other thing is um, a, a lot of times these forwards go so let's say you have a office whatsapp group and somebody is forwarding you inappropriate messages on that whatsapp group that comes under uh, you know sexual harassment uh, any any um, message which is like for instance in this case emojis which are being sent um, or after hour you are sending an emoji or you are sending messages after hour which are not required there is no consent of that person to speak to you in in the manner that you want to then in that sense that will all be covered under sexual harassment third and most important i think is the fact that people need to know when there is a no that a woman says when there is no consent when somebody is saying nahi mere ko aap se baat nahi karni hai yeah is some if someone is ignoring you please accept that as a no and don't uh you know cross the boundary because uh a lot of times we've seen that movies mein jis tarike se isko bahut uh, 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 you know movies mein ya gaano mein isko bahut generalize kar diya gaya hai ki agar kisi ne na keh diya to wo basically ha hai that is not true so that sensitization needs to be brought in people and if that sensitization is not coming then they will not they will never understand ki ye um, kisi ne agar aapko mana kiya hai to wo actually mana hai aap usko change nahi kar sakte unless and until wo aage se koi khud hi aake aapko bole ki nahi theek hai you know i would want to be your friend or i would want to talk to you please understand and accept that a no means no there are also you know official calls that are done people have to be mindful about it you cannot really use abusive languages um, or you know um, any private comments between two colleagues uh, let's say if there is a whatsapp call where three or four people are there and there is some private joke which is being cracked that can also come under sexual harassment um, a lot of times uh, like i said offensive screens uh, savers uh, or anything which has sexual overtones 
कैन कम अंडर सेक्शुअल हरासमेंट तो बहुत सारी छोटी छोटी चीजें हैं जैसे कि सपोज आपने अपने किसी को वर्कर को किसी एक इनअप्रोप्रिएट फोटो में या इन अप्रोप्रिएट पोस्ट में टैग कर दिया दैट विल ऑल्सो कम अंडर सेक्शुअल हरासमेंट इट इज नॉट दैट आप ये सोचें कि मैंने फेसबुक पे उसको ऐसे ही टैग कर दिया था हा 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 दैट इज नॉट ट्रू दैट कैन ऑल्सो कम अंडर सेक्शुअल हरासमेंट बिकॉज इफ दैट इज इन अप्रोप्रिएट एंड इट हैज सम काइंड ऑफ ओवरटोन विच आर इन अप्रोप्रिएट देन इट विल बी कंप्राइजिंग ऑफ सेक्शुअल हरासमेंट आई होप प्रगे दैट आंसर योर क्वेश्चन absolutely absolutely so uh, my next question to you is more practical because that is what happens that holi pe hamare yahan kehte hain na ki logon ki perverseness aur unki jitni bhi bhadas hai wo nikalti hai ki jo aaj tak nahi kar paaye wo holi ke din karenge ya in the name of joke ya in the name of character so wo ek badi thin line hai which makes it difficult to figure out that is this a case of sexual harassment so my next question is based on that In the virtual world, there is a very thin line between harassment and a light-hearted banter. The latter being largely attributable to the intention of the person. Both intention and motive have gained greater significance than ever before the posh policies in a post-COVID world. Intention plays a very important ro- role in law. How would you assure, in case a matter turns up, to prove the angle of intention in this regard? Have you dealt with any case lately of such gravity? कहने का तात्पर्य ये है कि मैं अपने मेरे यहाँ कोई इंटर्न आया और मैंने उसको दस लोगों के सामने बैठ के बोला अरे तुम तो बहुत सुंदर लग रही हो तुम्हारा ड्रेस बहुत अच्छा लग रहा है दिस इज वन थिंग बट अगर मैंने उसको बोला तुम तो बहुत सेक्सी लग रही हो या तुम्हारा तुम तो बहुत हॉट लग रही हो और मैंने इन अप्रोप्रिएट इमोजीज बना के भेजा वेर इन इट इज अंडरस्टूड कि मेरा उनसे कोई इतना पर्सनल संबंध नहीं है मैं अपने इंटर्न के साथ ये नहीं कर सकता हूँ अब बाद में अगर वो लड़की असहज महसूस कर रही है एंड शी से इज दैट आई एम नॉट कंफर्टेबल विद समथिंग ऑफ दिस सॉर्ट देन आई विल इन माय डिफेंस है अरे तो क्या हुआ मैंने तो बस इतना ही बोला कि तुम अच्छी लग रही हो या तुम हॉट लग रही हो सो यू नो दे अ वेरी थिन लाइन एंड हिंस इट बिकम्स डिफिकल्ट समटाइम्स सो यहां पे बात इंटेंशन की आती है एंड इंटेंशन प्लेज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट रोल इन स्पेशली इन क्रिमिनल लॉ कि जब तक आपका जो है मेंस रिया प्लस एक्टर्स रिया दोनों कंबाइन होता है तभी ऑफेंस क्रिएट ऑफेंस बनता है तो क्या आपके पास कभी कोई ऐसा केस आया है अगर नहीं भी आया है तो आपको क्या लगता है कि इंटेंशन को किस तरीके से प्रैक्टिकली कोर्ट में हम प्रूव कर सकते हैं सो प्रज्ञा वर्क फ्रॉम होम एनवायरनमेंट में तो इतना क्या इंटेंशन को लेके नहीं आया बट आई वाज इन हैदराबाद इन जनवरी एंड वी वर आई वाज विद अ पॉश कंसल्टेंट ओवर देयर बिकॉज़ शी वांटेड सम एक्सपर्टीज फ्रॉम मी तो उनका ये ये एक चीज है जो कि ये एक एक तरह का हरासमेंट है जो कि हम स्पोर्ट्स uh, में बहुत देखते हैं अनफॉर्चुनेटली इंडिया में ये काफी हो रहा है लॉट ऑफ विमेन डो नॉट कम फॉरवर्ड एंड से बट देर इज अ लॉट ऑफ सेक्शुअल हरासमेंट विच इज हैपनिंग बिकॉज पीपल आर इन पोजिशन ऑफ पावर और उस पोजिशन ऑफ पावर को एक्सप्लॉयट करते हैं जहाँ पे जो वालनरेबल लड़कियां आती हैं स्पोर्ट्स में यू नो मे बी दे माइट बी एथलीट्स दे कुड बी यू नो अ डिस्क थ्रोअर दे कुड बी एनी काइंड ऑफ एन एथलीट एंड यंग लड़कियां होती हैं लेकिन अननेसेसरी का एक एक्सप्लॉयटेशन उनके साथ होता है और इसमें इंटेंशन प्रूव कर पाना बहुत मुश्किल होता है क्योंकि हम कोशिश भी करते हैं तो बिकॉज दीज पीपल आर वेरी पावरफुल एंड लाइक वी नो कि अथॉरिटीज में टिपिकली जो लोग अपॉइंट भी होते हैं वो लोग काफी पावरफुल बैकग्राउंड से होते हैं तो बहुत सारी लड़कियां आगे आके उस हरासमेंट के बारे में बात नहीं करती या दे डोंट वेरी वॉसिफ्रिस्टली टेल यू दैट ओके दिस इज अ प्रॉब्लम सो व्हाट दिस पर्टिकुलर केस हैड वाज दैट द आईसीसी मेंबर्स वर और वन वाज अ पुलिस ऑफिसर द अदर वन वाज दिस पॉश कंसल्टेंट देयर वर अदर पीपल आल्सो इन दिस केस नाउ द ट्रबल द प्राइम ऑफ इस आई द ट्रबल लुक लाइक दैट यू नो देयर वाज अ हॉस्टल ऑफ स्टूडेंट्स who were staying and that the warden used to you know uh, get involved in all of this kind of a flesh trade and that uh, a few of these women would then or girls would benefit out of it by you know uh, uh, taking things to the next level now this was very difficult to prove at every stage to the icc that you know something like this was happening because everybody was hand in glove so the trouble is that you know if you want to show intention um and this we've seen in so many cases i think 
the the initial case um the first case that we'd seen of uh, that young girl from haryana and that police officer who got convicted i'm not going to take those names but we all know those cases the police officer who got convicted at the um, basically at the fag end of his life when that girl had already committed suicide uh, in in the late 80s early 90s i remember what was all that that was all a person coming from position in power and what does he say he says that i am a married person i have my own daughter how can anybody even think about it that you know i will have that kind of an intention also to do how does that justify you being a pervert or not if you are a pervert you are a pervert you may have a wife or a daughter or anybody in this world um, that doesn't stop you from being a pervert so i think that is where uh, a lot of lines were to be drawn as a matter of fact uh, one of the very good judgments that i read uh, very recently was uh, the mj akbar priya ramani case the judgment which came uh, from the lower court and a lot of people say ki ye defamation ka trial tha lekin ye pura ka pura posh act hi ko ek tarah se usme discuss kiya gaya and that that is actually true also but the way they have defined it agar uh, if there are law students who can maybe you know get that judgment it is available i think on live law and this like that if you get that judgment it's about 90 odd pages but if you read through it you will see how he has talked about it kaise examination in chief work kaise cross because it's all about the trial kaise examination in chief work kaise cross examination hua kis tarike se jo defense counsel hai usne bola hai uh the case, case name is mj akbar versus priya ramani this is from saket court in delhi if you google it out you will find it on live law so if you read that case you will see how the trial was done and then you will see how the defense counsels and the the prosecution not the prosecution really but the defense counsel and um, how uh, the plaintiff's lawyer were trying to build up a case where when there existed none so one of the most prominent uh, arguments i remember pragya was um, from the the uh, learned senior who was appearing uh, on behalf of mj uh, akbar was that us samay bhi laws the inko ja ke yahan pe sexual harassment ke liye bolna chahiye tha bhai kaun si laws the usko vishakha matlab ki because the incident took place around 92 93 and the vishakha guidelines also came around 93 they should have taken those appropriate steps that was not in um, social media zamana that you know everybody would know what the right is one vishakha guidelines aayi thi 93 mein posh act kab ka hai aap dekhiye kitna samay bit gaya for it to be enacted but no that doesn't fall anywhere this was an argument that was put forward that you should have gone and complete 93 in 1993 and this is where priya ramani is the entire if you read her um, you know the the the, the examination in chief you realize that uh, thank you lakshya for uh, sharing the pdf yes uh, if you read what she has gone through it looks very simple but um, when you see those smaller um, you know things that she's gone through you realize how much it was uh, how difficult it was and then there is i think gazala wahab ka bhi usme incident uh, mention kiya hua hai how uh, he was uh, how mr akbar was very difficult even though now it is gone in an appeal um, we will see what happens but at least ek court se to wo uh, jo pura description hai wo aaya hua hai and i think that judgment really talks about uh, every single step of things it is not uh, just one aspect that you look at so i think posh ke hisab se defamation wise to shayad wo judgment uh, likha nahi gaya hai but unfortunately but posh ke hisab se i think it has been really uh, done really well uh, uh, so that i think is a good place to look at anybody who's interested in looking at it as far as so usme intention unhone kafi acche se uh, uh, cover kiya hua hai ki wo uh, can it only be called as an intention or can um, you know a person's um, past in terms of the activities that he has done to other women also can all of that then come and together um, form the part of intention or not so yeah that is one judgment that i feel that in today's stand we should be looking at then there is another case uh, which was um, which is a case which is very close to me also because i know the victim 
this was that ge case which had taken place and where this gentleman had uh, committed suicide because there were these two girls who had gone and said um you know placed uh, uh sexual harassment charges against this gentleman this was here only and then he he commits suicide because he thinks that it was such a uh, wrong thing that had happened to him because these women went and that his reputation was completely uh um uh, done away with and thing like that now this is how uh, we see that you know then what happens is that if let's say the women were the women were right wo dar jayengi aur kal ko nahi bolengi kyunki unko ye lagega ki kahin kisi ne suicide kar liya to mere against to criminal cases bhi chalne lagenge posh ki problem to hai hi icc ki problem to hai hi because you was supposed to go and tell them give them such vivid descriptions which are just not worth it and then uh, there is a criminal case because the person happens to be uh, usko he, he comes from a if not for want of a very uh, simple word i think he has this uh, mental block ki wo apne ko sahi nahi prove kar payega to isliye wo jaake suicide kar le raha hai that mental weakness is there so you know that again stops women from going ahead and speaking i am telling you <coughs> out of this linkedin fiasco that took place a lot of girls actually sent me messages and uh, i think pragya you and uh, ashima and all of them are um, you know taking these complaints forward and they kept asking me that you know do you think i should pursue this complaint i mean i did it only because of awareness but do you think i should pursue this complaint and i said that's a, that's your choice i cannot take that decision for you it is for you to decide but what was their question ki mera career to nahi kharab ho jayega iski wajah se so that is that is where they got scared that i have gone and told people that these are people who are perverts but now do you think my career will be spoiled so these are questions jo ki hum sab logon ke dimag mein aate hain agar hamare sath i remember many years back while i used to be an investment banker there was a client and he was a pervert of the highest order that one could have found and i had to literally um, so so you know thankfully the company that i was working for it was a very woman friendly company and i had then gone and told my boss that you know i am not very comfortable with this client he was a good well paying client my targets could easily be achieved and all of that but he had this thing which just you know made me feel uh, uh, really bad and this so my boss who was the ceo of the company he made sure that 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 client was then dealt with only by men and that no other woman from any vertical uh, was in touch with him so i think you know uh, a lot of times when we speak to our bosses and we tell them that okay you know this is the problem that i am facing do you think there is a solution i am imposing that trust on my boss and the boss is taking care of it uh but does it does it also mean that you know can a client come under that uh uh you know the fact that this is my work uh, work environment and can a client then form a uh, part of the posh or not that is a gray area like you said about whether a banter or let's say a flirtatious uh, comment can that be then bought under posh or not so those are the gray areas where i think we still require um, some kind of uh, what do you call elaboration in that sense कि हमें पता चल सके प्रज्ञा आई होप दैट दैट आंसर्स नो 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 दैट कंप्लीटली आंसर्स माय क्वेश्चन एंड सो वी वर ट्राइंग टू स्पीक विद दीस गर्ल्स हु वर हैरेस्ड एंड आई रियली से इट इज कमेंडेबल दैट दे पुट लाइक इवन इफ एक जने ने भी स्ट्रेंथ करके इस चीज को सही समय पे बोला ये चीज 20 साल बाद भी हो सकती थी फिर हम लिमिटेशन एक्ट से अटक जाते सो आई एम हैप्पी विद द फैक्ट दैट इफ एनीथिंग ऑफ दिस सॉर्ट एंड ऑफ दिस ग्रेविटी वेयर tens of them are complaining about the same man in the same fashion then i'm sure there's something problematic but as a lawyer of course since uh, i believe that you know allegations are one thing and it, it would not be correct to not listen to the other side story other side correct yeah, yeah. so yeah. i i've been trying to listen to the, uh, those whatsapp conversations or aaj hamari in fact aaj meeting bhi hai un students ke sath and half of them were just saying one thing ki humne dal to diya screenshot lekin dar lag raha hai aage career mein aisa to nahi hai ye wo na i understand ki we all are women at the end of the day sabko dar lagta hai but that's what i say ki counseling bhi bahut zaruri hai so we all discuss that let's have a video call and let's first of all see each other talk to each other and understand what's the thing 
see we are living i am not in any way doing victim blaming i am in any way not doing name shaming i am not saying ki ye sahi hai ye galat hai but i believe that social media has made things for everyone very accessible okay it's very easy to and that's where there's a very thin line and to prove something like intention is where um uh, the entire games and i think somebody has written in the chat box that this entire lawyers lobby is there it's not just the lawyers lobby it's been everywhere me and uh, pallavi ji has been practicing in supreme court sometimes we have let go things because we felt that it is not relevant and uh, it's not necessary that you have to crib about everything all the time but yes there are times when personally i feel that it's affecting me or people around me i do raise my voice but there are a lot of things you let go because every time it can become very difficult it has happened to us it it may happen again in future and uh, it's i'll tell you pragya uh, even though this might be um, just not on the same track but like you know i'm a divorcee i'm a single woman i live in delhi i uh, act in a certain manner in terms of work wise um, i dress up i put on makeup i do things which a lot of people will not consider that this is um, how a single woman should be correct this may also uh, feel like an open invitation to a lot of people where they would think that ye bhai uh, ye to mujhe line door hi de rahi hai aur iske piche pad jao absolutely correct aapka makeup acha hai aapne lal lipstick lagayi hai to sara baat ghoom ke ya jata hai isi liye clients aa jate honge oh isi liye jab favorable order de deta hu वो तो कुछ भी नहीं है आप मेरा इंस्टा उठा के देख लो जो कमेंट्स विच आर देयर आप मेरा फेसबुक उठा के देख लो द मैसेजेस दैट कम आई हैव टू स्विच ऑफ माय मोबाइल फोन लिटरली एवरी नाइट बिकॉज शिटी मैसेजेस कम एट नाइट आई डोंट नो व्हाट हैपेंस टू मेन एट नाइट दैट दे हैव टू सेंड शिटी मैसेजेस टू वुमेन where do i go can i just keep filing cases against people no it's not possible i don't have that much energy i don't want that kind of negativity also because uh, pointing fingers at so many people is a little difficult for me at at this stage so i've learned to ignore it but i know where that ignore uh, that that ignoring business is going to go because a lot of times i think 90% of people have been blocked uh, i don't think anybody who's sending me any sexually colored messages i i don't get any sexually colored messages thankfully because i keep blocking people and they get the message and secondly i'm very uh, I'm very curt to people. If somebody comes and says something to me, I might be nice, but I will just tell them that you know this is not what I like. But maybe I have reached in that position now that I'm going to be forty in another two years. कि मेरे को शायद वो मैं उस position में पहुँच चुकी हूँ. But like I said, जब मैं अपने उस client के पास थी, when I was some twenty seven, twenty eight as an investment banker, I was an AVP at that point in time. I had my own team at that point in time, and I. I did not have the confidence of, uh, you know, telling that man no. So what did I say? I went to my boss and I did it. But now I am in a position where I feel very secure in my own skin. So I go and tell them, please, by all means, f off. I don't care. So I think, yeah. So now, if these girls have done it at such an early age, I think hats off. Absolutely. Very absolutely. Have done it at this age. बिकॉज मेरी तरह बुढ़े हो कि फिर उसके बाद तुम कहो बुढ़ी नहीं you know very respectful people having daughters having good wives but it has happened to all of us so i also believe that most of the times when you cannot entertain everyone not everyone is your audience so you you aap har kisi se wo conversation karenge to you will have to stoop down to their level you should not do that and ignorance is bliss as it is said so that's what even i do but yes many a times when it uh becomes pertinent for your own well being when you think that this is something which is going to you know impact me in long run you should just not let it go that is very important correct i think yes and that confidence comes and i'm actually very happy that these girls at their internship stage itself have that has that kind of a confidence to go and point out okay you know what 
you are a pervert and i'm showing it to the world just now i, I think that means i saw in men really shows a lot of confidence so i saw i midnight i actually opened up my linkedin and i saw a lot of statuses where everyone was saying in solidarity with you in solidarity with you it just i don't know something just clicked and i wrote that i understand that you brought this uh, on linkedin but now it's the time ki aap jo law pad rahe ho usko aap implement karo और आपके पास अभी सही समय है बाद में जाओगे लिमिटेशन का टाइम आ जाएगा तो आप इस चीज को परस्यू करो इफ यू थिंक यू हैव एविडेंसेस इस तरीके की चीजें हैं तो आप इसको परस्यू करो और डर के कोई कुछ नहीं कर पाएगा सो इफ यू टेक एन अ प्लंज इन इट नाउ इज द टाइम मेक अ हिस्ट्री एंड यू नो यूल बी हैप्पी अबाउट इट की मेरे साथ कुछ गलत हुआ आगे ऐसा इंसान रिपेंड करेगा सो इमीजिएटली उस इंसान ने सॉरी का मैसेज कर दिया कि इट वॉज नॉट डन इन बैड इंटेंशन दिस इन दैट वो दैट्स द इजिएस्ट थिंग आई आई कंसिडर दी आई कंसिडर ऑल माई इंटर्न एज माई सिस्टर हु सेंस दैट मैसेज टू अ सिस्टर एब्सोल्यूटली एब्सोल्यूटली एंड आई हैव फोर मेल कलीग्स इन माई ऑफिस एंड नाउ दैट आई जॉइन इन द यूनिवर्सिटी दे ऑल मैन बिहाइंड मी एंड I make sure that, and I feel so good that कोई भी आता है, they take them as their sisters, or even if not as sisters, mm. but they very. I think we have Kanishka there. Yeah, yeah. Okay, thank you, Kanishka. Yeah. Okay. Having said that, and moving on further, uh, the fourth question, I'll just uh, Chris, uh, I'll just you know concise it. Do you think that sensitization is the only way forward? what do you see uh, i think we are talking about absolutely yeah see sensitization is important but if you look at this case that that has just taken place these were advocates who were well aware of poshank they were well aware of obscenity they were well aware of what ipc looks like they knew that they were prima facie from the evidence which has been shown on linkedin i don't know these people personally i am no one to comment upon them but prima facie from what whatsapp messages have been shown i feel that if these advocates are the ones who claim that, you know they, they are advocates they know the law then they should have no, known that you know they were crossing a boundary which was completely wrong it was completely inappropriate and i feel that uh, uh instead of creating an environment which was friendly they ended up causing a lot of mess which uh, which is which cannot really be uh, sorted out so quickly because a lot of of uh, these interns were looking at them as you know uh, sort of demagogues in that sense and uh, to have them come down like that i think that's going to hurt them quite a bit pragya yes yes fair enough uh, uh moving on to the last question it's actually very okay. uh, practical and uh, एक मैं आपको बस ये सिनेरियो लास्ट क्वेश्चन ये पूछना चाहूंगी दैट इन द मोस्ट लेम एंड टर्म्स व्हाट वुड यू सजेस्ट एज अ वुमन एम्प्लॉय शुड डू शुड शी फील इनसिक्योर हैरेस्ड सेक्सुअली इंटिमिडेटेड बाय अ कोकली और एन एम्प्लॉयर स्टेप बाय स्टेप यदि आपके पास yes. कोई भी महिला yes. आती है जो डरी हुई है जिसके साथ ऐसा कुछ हुआ है लेट्स नॉट गेट इनटू द फैक्ट कि सही हुआ या गलत हुआ लेकिन आप वकील है या या आप एक ऐसी इंसान है जिसके साथ कुछ ऐसा हुआ है तो आप इसको सिंपल भाषा में क्या समझाएंगे कि वो क्या करे कानून क्या कहता है कानून पॉश अगर आपका आपके यहाँ पे पॉश एक्ट का इम्प्लीमेंटेशन है और आईसीसी इज फॉर्म है तो यू गो अड देर इज ऑलवेज दिस ऑम्बर्ड्समैन हुज देर एज प्रोवाइडेड बाय द लॉ यू कैन गो एंड फाइल कंप्लेन देर बट मोस्ट ऑफ द टाइम यू विल सी कि ये जो छोटे छोटे सेटअप्स होते हैं उसमें ये चीजें मिसिंग होती है the first thing to do is to approach your boss but if the boss is the perpetrator then i will suggest that it is always better uh, to file a complaint with the police instead of uh, uh, you know um, just going ahead and ignoring it if you feel that it is a thing which is really crossed all the limits that one could have possibly thought of why i say this is that you know taking your matter um uh, to the police will definitely provide you know some kind of a safeguard of your interest and second it will also have uh, agar aapne complaint file kiya hai to ek evidence hai jo ki show karega ki is tarikh ko mere sath is tarike ki ghatna hui thi aur ye acknowledged hai such and such police station ke andar i think ye ek bahut important cheez hoti hai jo ki hum markup karna bhul jate hain 
और फिर आ, काफी समय के बाद जब हम वो कंप्लेन फाइल कर रहे होते हैं तो उस उस स्थिति में आप कई सारे डिटेल्स भूल चुके होते हैं जो आपके साथ हुआ होता है उस वाक्य की और दूसरी चीज लाइक अ लॉट ऑफ स्टूडेंट्स हु आर स्टडिंग क्रिमिनल लॉ वुड नो दैट डिले इन एफ आई आर इज ऑलवेज फेटल और इन मोस्ट केसेस इज फेटल टू द केस सो इट इज ऑलवेज इम्पोर्टेंट दैट यू नो एनी थिंग दैट यू फेस यू डू नॉट सिट ओवर इट यू गो एंड टेक एक्शन फॉर इट एंड द एक्शन द मोस्ट अप्रोप्रिएट एक्शन इज टू फाइल अ कंप्लेट इफ यू थिंक दैट देर इज नो कंप्लेट दैट यू वॉन्ट टू फाइल देन बेस्ट वे इज की जिस भी व्यक्ति ने जो भी आपका परपेट्रेटर है उसको एक ई मेल लिखिए और उसको बोलिए कि ये चीज आपने मेरे साथ की है मुझे सही नहीं लगती और ये आप प्लीज इसको अभी बंद कर दीजिए सो दैट यू हैव अ डॉक्यूमेंट्री एविडेंस ऑलवेज टू प्रूव दैट समथिंग लाइक दिस हैड हैपेड और उसके बेसिस पे आप फिर कंप्लेंट फाइल कर सकती हैं आजकल तो पुलिस स्टेशन में जाने की भी जरूरत नहीं है ये कंप्लेंट्स आप ऑनलाइन भी फाइल कर सकते हैं बिकॉज दिस डेली पुलिस एटलीस्ट नोएडा पुलिस आई नो गुड़गांव आई नो दैट दे ऑल हैव यूपी पुलिस ऑल्सो वन जीरो नाइन वन या वन जीरो नाइन जीरो करके उनकी एक हेल्पलाइन है जिसपे आप कॉल करके भी बता सकते हैं जहां पे प्रोविजन न हो आईसीसी uh, के वहां पे uh, आपको आउटसाइड ऑफ द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन सपोर्ट लेने की जरूरत है अगर वो लॉयर हैं तो ऑफकोर्स आप uh, uh, बार काउंसिल में उनके अगेंस्ट शिकायत दर्ज कर सकते हैं <coughs> थैंक यू सो मच आपने बहुत ही सरल सीधे शब्दों में बहुत हेल्प किया एंड थैंक यू सो मच अभी वी हैव सर्टेन क्वेश्चन सो वी आर डन विद आर पिट आर ऑफ क्वेश्चन एंड वील बी टेकिंग क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम द ऑडियंस ओके सो लक्ष्य सेज हेलो मैम आई हैव टू डाउट इज एग्रीमेंट ऑफ एम्प्लॉयमेंट नेसेसरी फॉर पॉश एक्ट टू कम इन टू फोर्स आर इंटर्न कंसिडर्ड एज एम्प्लॉयज सो so, एम्प्लॉय का डेफिनेशन प्राइमरली ये होता है कि आपने किसी को रखा और आप उसको किसी तरीके की सैलरी दे रहे हैं अगर आप इंटर्नशिप्स देखेंगे तो मोस्ट ऑफ दीज इंटर्नशिप्स आर नॉट पेड इंटर्नशिप्स बट दैट डजेंट स्टॉप फ्रॉम एनी प्लेस फ्रॉम बिकमिंग माय वर्क एनवायरनमेंट जब हम किसी को एज एन इंटर्न रखते हैं uh, चाहे मेरी फर्म हो चाहे एक्स वाई जी कोई भी इंसान हो देर आर एविडेंसेस टू शो that uh, uh, you know that that a person is working for me for instance maine ho sakta hai whatsapp pe bola ho mujhe iska judgment chahiye ya maine ek email pe bheja ho ki mujhe iska synopsis chahiye bhai main kisi se koi agar mera intern hoga koi insaan pay kar raha hai nahi kar raha hai lekin agar main usse kaam nikalwa rahi hu to wo work work environment hi hai and therefore whosoever is my boss becomes liable for it सो एम्प्लॉयमेंट अग्रीमेंट हर बार नहीं होता जरूरी भी नहीं है कि आपके पास अग्रीमेंट होगा लॉ फर्म्स में आप देख लीजिए बिगेस्ट ऑफ द लॉ फर्म्स दे आर ऑल ऑन अ रिटेनरशिप मॉडल दे आर नेवर ऑन एन एम्प्लॉयमेंट कॉन्ट्रैक्ट बार काउंसिल एडवोकेट्स एक्ट एक्चुअली प्रोहिबिट्स दैट सो ऑल ऑफ आस नो दैट इसलिए यू हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड दैट यू नो आई के नॉट टेक अ जॉब बट आई मे बी ऑन अ रिटेनर विद अ फर्म एंड देर फोर मैं उस चीज को प्रूफ नहीं कर सकती कि मैं एम्प्लॉय हूं कि नहीं बट आई कैन प्रूफ दैट दिस इज अ वर्क प्लेस वेर आई वॉज वर्किंग एंड दैट इज ऑल दैट इज रिक्वायर्ड यू आर ओनली सपोज टू इस्टेब्लिश दैट दिस इज माई वर्क प्लेस यू डोंट हैव टू शो योर इनकम टैक्स रिटर्न एंड टी डी एस सर्टिफिकेट फॉर दैट सो आई होप दैट आंसर योर क्वेश्चन इंटर्नशिप का मैसेज जो उस फॉर्म ने अपने LinkedIn page pe likha tha that for this month we are taking these in turns i think this was a good connecting and see we need not have direct evidences in case there is a shortage of direct evidences we do have indirect evidences and then there are series of events that can culminate into you know setting up the entire scenario and the court is sane enough to understand that and see yahan mm-hmm. pe employer employee nahi hai because we are not going in the yahan uh, pe employment ya hamara uh, ye service related issue nahi ho raha hai it is a uh, different act posh act but still it is a case of workplace so very well interns can be covered up in this scenario and that uh, <laughs> uh, invoke the jurisdiction of the court okay 
coming to the second question, Zainab says, ma'am, as per the Sexual Harassment Act, there has to be an internal complaint committee which should be established in all organizations, but, mo but most officers lack it. Of course, this is one of the impediments and also ICC ke liye is zaruri hai ke office mein das uh, ya pandra logon se zada hoon is tarike ka. And ah, since okay. there are mushroom of law, law firms, kisi ne bhi LLP kiya and you know, they can get a LLP registered and having offices nowadays is the easiest thing to do. So, OPC is actually uh, Pragya, all of OPC bhi khole lage, which is exactly. um, it, which is really difficult because OPC ka itna zara, uh, I, I doubt ki itna scope hai, uh, but nahi, lo khol rahe, and it is going on. Exactly. So, so how do you bring OPC under the purview of POSH? Uh, that is also a question. I still feel that there are bottlenecks <coughs> definitely in uh, this act. Or uh, yeah, bottlenecks, what do you say? With the time and change, I think there are some changes. Especially after COVID era, I think there are some areas on the gray areas where there are certain things that can be touched upon. And uh, it becomes very difficult otherwise that you will take it in the purview of it. It will become very difficult. Right. Okay, Correct, so yeah, to your yeah. answer, I think that it better be better that over the period of time, the Act should have uh, changes and amendments. Because there are some things that are under... And I think Posh, the uh, like, like companies act, hua, how is it that a company is being formed? It gets a lot of money from that. But the other ancillary uh, uh, entities that are working on it, they can't cover it yet. So I think that you are right about that part, Pragya. उस चीज को कवर करना जरूरी है। Okay, does Posh Act even protect married women from sexual harassment done by their husbands? Yeah, yes, is that? No, I think uh, for that marital rape needs to be legalized, which I doubt is ever going to happen in this country. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. It has nothing to do with the workplace. It has nothing to do with sexual harassment. Husband and wife uh, will not be covered uh, in this particular act. Uh, to your question, okay. Uh, Mansha says, yeah, that's a, that's a very good line. She says, right of reputation, not at the cost of right to dignity. I, I think she oh. mentioned it during the time of uh, that MJF. Correct. Yeah. Right. yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Ishan says, after commenting in any girl's photo, can any guy take defense of freedom of speech and expression? It comes with reasonable restrictions. How can you forget of course. that? Of course. It comes with you have a constitutional uh, law professor here. Yeah. She's going to give you a good lecture on the whole. So there's, there's always a caveat with everything. Any freedom is not absolute in its nature. Everything comes with a cost, okay? And uh, you cannot do anything and everything in an unfettered manner. Constitution has given you certain rights, but your rights ends where my nose begins. So you need to remember that. So you, <laughs> you better be cautious before what you... Uh, of course, there's a different sense of comfort zone. If I can... I can probably, in my friendly capacity, you know, write things to Pallaviji, whatever I feel like. But it doesn't mean any third person who doesn't even know her can do the same thing. So you you can take leverage when it comes to your own circle, your own friends, or what sort. I think Pragya, that's where consent also comes in because you are doing something. You are com commenting on my Facebook. I am saying ha ha ha, which means that my consent is that you have commented. Yeah, it's very good. Precisely. Yeah. And but if let's say you're commenting something I don't like you, I delete that message. Yeah, I hide that message. That is an uh, you know that is an action which shows that I don't like it. So please don't do that in future. Absolutely. Now you repeat it, then that is definitely sexual harassment. Even that first comment is because there is no con consent as far as uh, uh, posting is concerned. Absolutely. Okay, so Dhruv says, uh, good evening, ma'am. You mentioned small law firms and lawyers. Are there certain conditions which needs to be fulfilled by these organizations? For example, minimum number of employees to qualify for ensuring that an ICC is established. 15 ka hai, shayad, Pragya. If I'm not mistaken, I think 15 employees agar hote, then you have to, yeah. uh, uh, you have to have ICC. But uh, because most of the law firms, like I said, uh, work on retainer model, so uh, because they are not employees per se, uh, their EPF is not going, etc. They are not going. So, this is just ICC formulate. Nahi hoti. But that doesn't stop uh, from uh, you know that law firm from being a workplace for women. Be it interns, be it even the maid who comes and cleans up the uh, the office, that woman as well. See, ICC ka logic is that there is a certain procedure that you should follow. You should not even the court. Is, 
be it any other case the court also expects you to exhaust your local remedies you should go to the police station first if something happens so you should go to a mahila court you should go to ncw dcw if you're a woman and something of this sort has happened you can go to the bar council you can give your representation and then eventually you should go to the court you should not it is expected of course nobody stopping you that you cannot go to the court the court is always there for you as long as you have a right and the statute permits it but you need to remember that just because an organization who has say only five people does not have a icc does not have a female member with whom you are comfortable ki are yahan koi hota to main baat kar sakti thi it doesn't deter you to take help of this act you can approach any higher authority you can write to a lot of other organization a lot of other portals who will be regulating this particular organization the best thing and the only solution right now that i can suggest is that you need to overcome your fear if you are very confident that i do have evidences and i'm not saying that it has to be like a direct evidence there can be instances of mental harassment but mental harassment is something different until unless it does not have sexual innuendos or sexual overtones it will become difficult so when we are talking about posh it is very clear that it has to be something related to sexual harassment okay so yeah that's that's all i have to say thank you thank you bro any other question and please feel free to unmute yourself कोई कंडीशन नहीं है तो आपने म्यूट करके हटा के बोला तो दिक्कत होगी I think they are all exhausted now. It's Saturday. <laughs> yeah. Even yeah. if we are working from home, it's Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Uh, thank you so much for this very fruitful session. We'll be putting this up after editing on YouTube, and I'm sure that it is going to help a lot of other people as well. Uh, and since it is bilingual, I'm sure uh, uh, people will have uh, uh, def- uh, people will definitely benefit from this. Ma'am. Ji, batayi. Yes, Zena. Ma'am, does mental harassment uh, is also being covered under Posh Act? <coughs> mental harassment, uh, to the extent that if there is any sexual overtone which is taking place, that actually also comes under mental harassment only. So uh, even though the the Act is very clear on uh, uh, the use of the term sexual, uh, but of course anything which leads from there to a mental harassment, it gets covered, uh, Zena. बट ऐसा कुछ नहीं है कि बहुत क्लियरली मेंटल हरासमेंट को इन सो मेनी वर्ड्स कवर किया गया उस इस एक्ट में All right. Okay, you want to add something? No, no, no. That's it. That's it. So I think we are. Uh, uh, Mansha has raised her hand. Yes. Uh, is it a gender a gender neutral law? Good question. <clears throat> I'll tell you something. <clears throat> there is a there is an act which you all would know, which is called as Prevention of uh, cruelty uh, the domestic violence act which is there which is primarily for women huh? but aajkal us act ko uh, men have also started to use it saying that this is a house this is this is a this is a matrimonial house and that i have suffered cruelty and there are courts which have issued notices on such matters also which is for men so i will not be surprised if this act becomes gender neutral the primary aim was of course to protect women because that is what we saw most of the times in uh, uh, in our country happening but tomorrow if uh, the purview is extended to men or to uh, you know the third gender i will not be surprised i think uh, it's become we are as a society moving towards gender neutrality in so many ways yeah even i am always up for gender neutrality but it reminds me of an incident it was a domestic violence case and since the definition is very clear that it has to be a shared household there was uh, this lady uh, who uh, added i think 10000 uh, respondents and some of the respondents had probably met her last during her wedding and they were staying in some other hometown altogether they had never been at this so it becomes very problematic as lawyers and as judges also that sometimes you know they don't even consider why this act was formulated in act it only at in the correct yeah two three dates are gone and <laughs> we are fighting about the fact that no the act doesn't even say uh, something of this sort uh-huh. so yeah uh, to your uh-huh. question as of now uh, uh, it is it was started with the intent to protect women but maybe over the period of time it can become gender neutral all right 
okay guys thank you so much and thank you uh, 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 yeah thanks, thanks mancha thanks so can i ask a question thank please? you ma'am yes, yes yes okay okay please last question please we are yes. following sort of time now yeah first of all, thank you so much professor and uh, pallavi ma'am for conducting this session my question to you is like uh, sometimes it is difficult to prove like in case of you know this circumstance you know we had the proofs like screenshots <laughs> sometimes you know things are not getting recorded so i think that becomes difficult to prove and you know people tend to generalize things as you mentioned that you know in criminal law access to mens rea are very important things so i mean they, they tend to you know, generalize things so what is your take on that and you know if we have to prove it and we don't have any you know uh, evidence for that like screenshots or recording so how to go about it evidence is uh, important mansha that's that's where the entire um, you know you if you are a law student you will also appreciate that the entire case um, is uh, based on evidence uh, and also you are supposed to find like i said isse pehle maine aap bola bhi tha ki agar aapke sath kuch ho raha hai to kam se kam uska ek email dal dijiye ya phir ek complaint file kar dijiye ya ek online complaint file kar dijiye just to make sure that that thing gets documented it is you know when you are going through anything you have to document it because the court like you've seen lady justice it's blind i was absolutely it will only that. look at the evidence about will... this that her eyes are closed it's all about evidence at the end of the day the court is not going to go to your home okay so you have to showcase you have to show how it is how it happened to you so documentation is something which is which cannot be done away with it is something which is very important i hope that answers your question mansha and that is where our creativity as lawyers also comes comes in how do you bring that evidence how do you how do you think that you can uh, make an make an evidence or make a documentation kya aap usko baad mein ja ke bhi document kar sakte hain ya that's a, that's where our creativity comes in in order to you know get that evidence or in order to make it cogent i hope that answers your question mancha yes 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 ma'am thank you so much <laughs> ma'am my favorite question of the day will you take me as an intern under you uh, we will talk about it later on thanks guys thank you so much uh, palavi uh, ji for being here and uh, on behalf of vidhi varenyam and uh, team samvidhi uh, i extend my heartfelt thanks to you and i hope people benefit from this and even if there's one person who can take uh, something from what was told today and uh, becomes a Uh, change in the society i think uh, the entire practice of doing all of this would uh, be fruitful so thank you very much and uh, 